we're talking about the analysis of a particular shot of mine, the cowgirl. This is a black and white rendering from a colour image. And I chose that because there are certain characteristics, certain ingredients within the arrangement of the shot, which are worth analysing. Firstly, it's a woman in man's clothes, working in a man's world. The majority of the wranglers who look after guests on guest ranches, where people ride for um, hobbies, and also for the rounding up of cattle, are in fact women. But the nature and the way they go about what they wear says a lot about the way women feel about clothes and the way they express themselves when they wear them. So if you look at the shot again, you see that her shirt, her shirt collar is turned up. The arms of her shirt are rolled up over her forearms and she's tied the tails of the shirts in a knot across her midriff. She wears her hat well, and because of asking her to look down and not at me, I choose some anonymity because the brim of the hat hides her eyes. She has a pointed jawline, and her hair sits and frames her face and sits lightly on her shoulders. When you look further down, the leather chaps and the belt are actually uh, encircling her hips, which are narrow for her build, and the heavy-duty gloves, which she is showing great dexterity with as she calls her throat, created all these elements. What I asked her to do while she was practicing this was just to shift her weight from standing with two feet and her body straight in line with me to moving her weight to one leg. As you do that, the body tilts, and as a result of that tilt, one of the shoulders drops down, and to compensate for that, your head goes the other way. And it's that zigzag that creates the tension and the effectiveness of the shot. That, combined with the natural light and her standing in front of a, a dark, creosated barn, makes it feel like it's been taken in a studio. But it's entirely natural light. But the nature of the way the light wraps around her chaps, backlights her hair and the collars of her shirt and the rim of the hat, and the way that extraneous light is reflected off the sandy soil she was standing on, lightens the shadows and acts like a, a massive reflector board. It was one of those shots when you're looking through the camera as a photographer, you think to yourself, this is the one. And the, the chemistry between recognising that and you pressing your finger on the button is a microsecond. I think I took two frames in all, both virtually identical, and I couldn't find a way to improve it. It's one of my favourite shots. I think it says a lot about the way, the way women fit themselves into men's roles. It says a lot about the fragility of women, but their steely toughness. And I think she epitomises my idea of what a female wrangler is and my thanks to her for posing for me on that day.